a very pleasant afternoon to one and all joined online and offline. Knowledge has a beginning, but no end. I welcome you all to the knowledge gaining session of Endowment Lecture on Agricultural Education, New Competencies and Innovations for Future. I now request Dr. N. Sendhi, the Center B, School of Postgraduate Studies, to deliver welcome address opening remarks. Good afternoon to all. I am happy to be here in this uh, endowment lecture. I welcome uh, the participants here in Coimbatore offline, sorry, online. <laughs> and I am really uh, thankful to the de uh, Dean AC and RA Madurai, Dr. Magendran, and Professor and Head Extension. And most importantly, today's uh, speaker, Dr. Manage. Uh, really, it is a happy moment that uh, so one of the leading extension scientists to so come over here, Madurai. It's, even though the Madurai is his favorite place, and really I'm happy that you accepted our invitation and come, come over there and tell, deliver the endowment lecture. So Tamil Nadu Agricultural University is very happy that we are every time when we request the speakers of national importance, they accept readily accept our invitation and uh, and talk the recent development in the area of interest. In that, uh, you know that the manage is uh, one of the leading organization which in terms of extension training and many of the manpower development and also the management programs. So whatever the knowledge, whatever the uh, things which you are going to hear from uh, Sarvan Raj, it is uh, worthwhile for the students, both the masters and the PhD students, really uh, keen in uh, keen in observing your talk. Uh, so with these few words, I'm really uh, happy to happy to be there in the part of the this endowment lecture series. Uh, for the Im information of the speaker. Uh, the many of the TNAU other constituent colleges been connected by online. Here in TNAU Coimbatore campus, all the masters and PhD students are assembled in the PG Defense Hall and eagerly waiting for your lecture. I hope the other uh, other uh, PG students from all other campuses like Trichy Kilikulam also they join and uh, watching the lecture. And this lecture also been archived for the future views. So with this, I am uh, really happy uh, that today afternoon we have a wonderful session with the uh, leading uh, extension scientist and he is going to give us experience and also he is going, going to uh, share the knowledge with us. And I think the students of masters and PhD students have a good interactions and definitely will help you to improve your knowledge level in the way of how the extension service is working in India. Thank you one and all. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. A better understanding of the speaker is essential for better understanding of the lecture. On this line, I request Dr. P. P. Mahendran, respected Dean, Agricultural College and Research Institute, Madurai, to introduce the speaker. Respected Dean, School of Postgraduate Studies, Professor and Head, Department of Agricultural Extension, Dr. Vail Sami, Dr. Nirmala, Associate Professor of Agricultural Extension, staff members, students who have joined offline and online, and respected guest speaker, Dr. Saranan Raj, Director of Manage. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a moment of uh, great privilege and honor for me to introduce our uh, guest speaker, Dr. Saranan Raj, Director, Manage, for offering his uh, endowment lecture on agricultural education, new competencies and innovations for uh, uh, future. I am very happy to introduce our uh, guest speaker. Dr. Saranan Raj is an alumnus of TNAU and 
He did his uh, B.Sc. Agriculture at the A.C. and R.I. Madurai from 1992 to 1996. Then he completed his uh, M.Sc. and Ph.D. in Agricultural Extension from uh, University of uh, Agricultural Sciences, UAS GKVK, Bangalore during uh, 1997 to 2003. He is specialized in the area of uh, public private extension, privatization of uh, agricultural extension, institutional pluralism and innovations in agricultural extension, information and uh, communication technologies, digital social media for agricultural extension, agripreneurship, agri startups, and related policy issues. Before joining Manage, he worked as a Faculty of Agricultural Extension for uh, one and a half decade in the Central Agricultural University, Impal, Meghalaya, and Arunachal Pradesh states of Northeastern India. He has guided four uh, MSc agricultural students from the Agricultural Extension Department for their uh, uh, research guide. He has organized a uh, many capacity developmental program for the various uh, professionals. Since 2016, 406 national and international training programs, workshops, conferences, and webinars were organized, and 50,593 participants were participated in the offline and online program conducted on agricultural innovation systems new agricultural extension approaches and innovations, navigating ICTs, digital and the social media for agricultural extension, value chain based extension, agro tourism, agri startups and agripreneurship. He also served as CEO for Manage, Center for Innovation and Agripreneurship and supporting 330 early stage startups across India. He also involved in International Triangular Cooperation. He was the director for the Feed the Future India Triangular Training Program for the capacity development of 11 African countries and the six Asian countries from April to August 2018. He carried out many consultancy projects for the welfare of uh, rural women entrepreneurs. He is the recipient of uh, many awards and uh, fellowship. He received the Netherlands Government Fellowship and participated in the advanced course on facilitating multi-stakeholder process and social learning. He also got the best research paper presentation awards for his PG and PhD research presentations from Virginia University, Sri Lanka in 2002 and 2003, respectively. He is the recipient of ICR JRA for pursuing his MSc Agriculture in Agricultural Extension and also received a Young Scientist Award for his research work on farm communication in the Viswabharati University, Shantri Ketan, West Bengal, India. To share his scientific knowledge and thoughts, he has visited 18 countries including Australia, Argentina, China, France, Germany, and USA. So he has authored four books, 74 research and review papers, 21 book chapters, 27 discussion and working papers. So this is the a brief resume about our uh, uh, guest speaker. So we are fortunate to have our uh, a respected guest speaker for this uh, session. So I request all the students to have a useful interaction with our guest speaker and make this program as a, a successful one. So on behalf of Agriculture College and Research Institute Madurai, I wholeheartedly welcome our guest speaker to offer his end of end lecture on agricultural ed education, new competencies and innovations for future. Welcome, sir. Respected Dean TGS from Coimbatore and Dean Madurai Campus, Dr. P.P. Magendran, sir, 
there are the department dr delisani and uh, professor from excellence uh, department and all the faculty members the students those who are here in madurai physically those who are attending and those who are from online those who are from other campuses very good afternoon to all of you and happy to be here and happy to be you all i will talk about something very and agriculture university again coming same university and talking about agriculture education which is a little tough task because i am talking with the there are professors and those who are studying agriculture education and also tna one of the one of the reputed organization one of the international known university and uh, but i talk about what is agriculture education what type of new competencies are needed and why it is needed and how we can do like that and before going to session generally i see that many of the students will come on here to uh, whenever the final year students are coming whenever i pose a question actually what you want to become like that but uh, some i it's a, it's a sad part uh, majority of them they will take for uh, and only they will tell very generic like uh, we go for the competitive exams and the upsc and the bank services like that maybe at uh, outset i put it it may be the very saddest part of the university and the students and the faculty and the persons like me those who are seeing agricultural education and also working in the national national institute institute of repute because uh, i have different opinion because uh, maybe somebody may take it positive may not take it but first uh, itself i make it very clear uh, agriculture education has a great scope but we may not looking for students only for uh, something like competitive examination and also only for as the administrative officers or bureaucrats and also as a bank employees i don't think so and because uh, the country globally we see agriculture education it supports millions of farmers it is uh, it is something not a career path actually many times no it is not the employment uh, opportunity it is something no lives of millions and millions of people that means you are studying one of the noblest profession but uh, it's a hard part is once you go for msc or phd you will get the one of the you are the recipients of some fellowships and scholarships but at the end of the day again you go for the civil services and the bank something like that uh, that i don't think so as a agriculture student because i got the job i am not talking here but it is very sad for me we are not producing the bureaucrats i don't think so we are on only bank employees to come study the agriculture that means so we need to retrospect another same for means another thing we won't celebrate the scientist in the university like the kd we celebrate the bureaucrats in the way we never celebrate the scientist we never celebrate the great process those who invent the day and night working the field i never see any all of us for the any of the scientists here i am afraid actually this many years it's one of the oldest college started somewhere side of that wherever it produced one of the world's greatest scientists but i never seen in the uh, hearts of them for the scientists and great teachers today i am standing because of the teachers who taught me confidence not only agriculture see teachers want teach only agriculture they teach many more things they teach about life actually i am here because my teachers even i can quote some of the teachers here like uh, morning i met uh, dr durai singh agronomy teacher and madam anjulam and again uh, economics teacher uh, these two teachers are many might be known because they are here but uh, there are large number of teachers i don't want to list all of them but we learn from every teacher for example anjulam teacher and uh, anjulam madam and uh, durai singh sir first class they took for us they are just joined us here like they are look like students those days they come very young and the first course they taught for us and they 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 way they taught and they way they wanted us no still we remember all all the students we remember that's why you know it is not a subject alone they teach for the life actually that's why my first point is many students most of the students know when you study agriculture there is a great scope is there many time we may not explore it when i will talk everybody going for civil service or bank exam then many of the students ask sir agriculture you won't get the job like that many of you your inner voice will be telling is it not i am hearing here is it not no many you tell we justify things because 
Today we won't get jobs, sir. Here again, there is no assistant professor post. KVK, there is no post. Departments, they won't take the agriculture officers. And the private also, we don't do a great job like that. Many of you telling, is it not? How many of you telling? Can you raise your hands honestly? No, many more. You are not honest, many of them. <laughs> yeah, if it is UG students are there, at least no. Uh, final year students, you take them now, at least 90% of them, they will tell. There is a dilemma like that. That means there is an issue with us. The way we think and the way we look for the job opportunities. We might be looking for job opportunities. It is not changed 30 years. I was here 92, 96. Um, I, I don't think so. My maybe <laughs> generation changed actually. Many of my senior, my teachers are gone, and new teachers are came, and my classmates and my uh, little seniors, juniors, all are here uh, as a teachers. I see the half of my seniors, juniors, and teachers, generations are changing. But those days, same opportunity only today, also agriculture students are talking. It is not the mistake of teachers. Once again, I am passing you. I am not talking about the university, there is a mistake, or there is a problem with the uh, faculty, those who are teaching. Maybe because of students, maybe. Because today, there is a lot of opportunities, and somebody was telling, Today, everybody hold well this in your hands and you take it mobiles and this hold well this with you. But the only exploring that, uh, that, that is a personal. That's why now I will start with this. And we need to celebrate what you study. Agriculture, you need to celebrate. And when you are celebrating, you find out the days where you get the job. My biodata, all they are told many, but one point they didn't told. I will come to last, last part actually. When I will tell last. When somebody like me can stand here, here everybody can get a job. And I also got the job in the very difficult times actually. And then somebody like me, today I'm standing here very proudly with the firemometer and everybody will get the job provided. You put lot of commitment, honestly you try, and you find out your inner, what you want to be really, not with the going with the guru and not listening to the guru. Your own voice, if you are listening, you will get it. And, uh, Anyway, we'll discuss more. We'll try to interact anyway with all your busy students. But I will go with a quick some presentation, then we'll discuss later on. And whatever I made, the first few lines will be somebody may not like it, but I will come back to again and we'll discuss why we need to celebrate the scientists, why we need to celebrate the one of the best faculty, those who produce from the university. We need to have the hall of them. Why it is I come to that? And because you now that, that is inspiration for another large number of students. I will come to that. Now we'll talk about agricultural education and what are the new competition, competencies are needed, what are the new innovations. I will talk very quickly about agricultural education in India and what are the gaps existing and action plan for future. It is already available. I may not touch much. I will make only passing reference. These are available online or IC or everywhere it is available. And what it is, quickly I will go, but I will concentrate, concentrate more on new competencies. That's why I already made the point that everybody study for agriculture and agriculture it is not the career path alone because it is one of the noblest profession. Again, I am quoting it. It is along with the job, we are changing the lives of millions and millions of stakeholders, those who are part of agriculture, not only farmers, large number of entrepreneurs, large number of people, those who are part of agriculture. And also you are feeding the world. It is not only farmers you are supporting, you are feeding the world actually. Globally, everybody needs to eat. That means you are, you are studying one of the novelist profession and in the earth you take any every human beings, they are connected with agriculture. Whether they like it or not, whatever the uh, whatever the profession they are doing, but they are connected with agriculture. That means you are touching the lives of millions and millions or uh, billions of people actually through this profession actually. That's why you know it is something very unique profession. First of all, we need to have that power actually. And again, any profession need to be moved forward. The competency of uh, not only for students, I may be talking about more about students, but the entire system players, actors, those who are, whether it is a faculty, whether it is a researcher, whether it is students, whether it is a farmer, whether it's an entrepreneur, those who are working, whether they are entrepreneurs or those who are processing like that. There are large number of, including agriculture policy makers, administrators, and development professionals like that. There are large number of people. And when you want the system become more and more progressive and development need to be taken, everybody needs to be more competent and they need to change with the time actually. 
it never stops and it is not telling only agriculture students are not good those who are coming officers are not good that's why agriculture are not good it may not be because this competency skills you need to enhance for the all the stakeholders even though i talk mostly about students today but this competencies are more important but today's context again if you call something you no know, competencies earlier days we talked about technical competencies but today more than technical competencies something problem solving and how we can critically think because there are resources are coming down there is a climate change there is a proper market thing is not that then we talk no then maybe negotiation skills or partnership something like that no there are new set of competencies needed it is not only technical for example those who are studied 1960s or 70s only knowing about high yielding varieties how to cultivate package of practices that makes lot of wonder but today it is not because many of the farmers may be aware about new varieties and today yesterday madam vice chancellor was talking then hold i am sitting from somewhere north east i am seeing that video new varieties are released a different thing it is reaching but today it is not the getting information about new varieties but it is about how to cultivate what are the issues how to process how to reach the market this is that that's so you know the problem is changes and also the competency also changes it is not static that's so you know we need to acquire new new skills it is agriculture is a profession as a man kind is it not it is next to hunting uh, we started agri human being started the agriculture so with the human being so now the first profession may be hunting may be second most profession and the, uh, continuing profession is it is agriculture it is started from uh, organized to be something 16th century onwards it is recorded from china how agriculture was then even our own Uh, earlier literature or wherever you see agriculture, you can see whether it's Magabarga or Ramayana. You very well know they will talk about uh, agriculture, and you can see this is one of the oldest of human kind and human how much old that was civilization how much old that much old this old this person and it was evolving continuously. There is no look back because I already told it depends on billions and it reaches billions and billions of population and this world it is continuously growing and over the years and. Uh, There is uh, including land grant, land grant uh, college system. The years we adopted there are universities today. You see the large number of universities and uh, ICR institutes. Those who are research and education and large number of colleges also today. You see, it is a continuously it is growing, but it is not a very interesting sign. And it is growing, but agriculture. You see, it is not uh, more or less the candidates from rural areas more or less static, and uh, those who are Understand already agriculture. They are with the rural background, though understand very very well about agriculture. They are not coming forward because many places it is see whether it is northeast part of the country, large number of tribal and disadvantaged uh, village rural population may not be coming because of maybe competitive nature or mouths or something. There is an issue with that. And again, continuously we see another thing. It is a uh, woman. It is coming up more. And uh, but with all this increasing number of students, but there are uh, exciting parts now. Last number across the country, there are they are trying for the women only schools or so agriculture. Even new education policy recommends for middle school level agriculture need to be uh, one of the important subject. They are trying to come in the schools. I am hearing last twenty years or twenty two years that there was a talk agriculture on college schools. They will start like this. But now maybe. new education policy giving importance for the students school children they study about agriculture already all women all all agricultural started in up you can see there is example already started and this first agriculture that is started in 1987 onwards it is no looking back you can see it is continuously evolving and today you can see national higher education projects our students are going somewhere abroad to getting internships and also faculty visits are happening this was continuous over the years the improvement is happening and continuously education system also icar and universities they try to keep up their level best they will continuously uh, update the curricula and also try to support with the different projects for the students and faculty for the competence and also there is a deans committee now currently six deans committee they are working on it and uh, Uh, there are a lot of interesting things like yoga, meditation, or something like skill based or entrepreneurship based uh, curriculum going to come. Already it's a discussion on the uh, it is a sixth dean's committee working. This depending upon the time and changes, this curricula evolving curricula also happening. It is coming up with new new subjects and new things. But with all this, 
And if you ask many of the students, still there is a gap. We want to get the job, even though country tries with continuously awarding curricula, continuously investing a uh, large number of facilities for the university. But still, we see there are a lot of gaps are existing, and many students you feel it is not really their job employable immediately. Once after completing BSc agriculture, mainly we look for the exams from the government departments, whether the agriculture officers they are recruiting uh, something MSc PhD means KDKs or universities, something like you know very 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 narrow and very focused when we look for it, then there is the gap is existing. Something like this. And again, it is agricultural education which is not uh, uh, very much welcoming. For example, every every seat will get only 85 applications. Same thing, medical means at least uh, 50,000 students they will apply for. It is not attracting good talent also agriculture over the years. Maybe because of uh, there are gaps in the subject. If you see Medical education, 50,000 students they will put, and uh, 85 applications only will receive, which is the All India uh, survey reports. That means we are not uh, made the agriculture become one of the important activity because even though everybody follows agriculture, it's one of the biggest profession even today, but uh, there, is, uh, there is no attraction with the, our own profession. It made by us, all stakeholders. And again, if you see, uh, grass in higher education, if you see, you know, our percentage is very less. Even though agriculture has a lot of job opportunities, those come from other subjects, they will be coming working in agriculture. But uh, agriculture generally, if you see, uh, enrollment is 0.03 only in higher education. It is not, it is very encouraging. And again, unemployment, if you see, employment, it is only uh, undergraduate 43 percentage and uh, 25 percentage of the post graduates, they will get the employment opportunities, others they may not get. That is, uh, for example, undergraduates, if you see, is 75 percentage on an average, they won't get the employment opportunities. Then there is a gap between our own education system. Even though we continuously increase the universities and colleges, there is a uh, issue actually. And uh, again, all India placements also, if you see, this also says it is a very low actually, even 2011 to 2015, which is not much change, 75% of them, they are not getting the placements. So this is a very sad part. That means there is a problem with our own curriculum or the way students are trained or the students, what type of competency they are having. And that's why it is, uh, generally it is the lack of uh, maybe infrastructure or human resources. Maybe many of the universities and colleges you can see, there is a faculty may be very less. And there may be not, uh, there, not there may not be appropriate infra infrastructure for the corresponding with numbers of students, laboratories and field, other things. So it may not be generalized for the other campuses. Some campuses may be good old campus like Madurai may be having well equipped laboratories or field, but it is not case with all the colleges across the India. It is the Indian survey, it is nothing to do with the Tamil Nadu Agricultural University alone or Tamil Nadu colleges alone. But it holds good for the many of the colleges. Most of the colleges started even private colleges. You can see these lacuna, we can see. And uh, there is a poor balance between teaching and uh, research. Even I can hear from many of the faculty, even DNAU, the number of faculty is coming down every year. When I was studying, I, I see the, some of the departments, the number of faculty is more. And same department today, I'm seeing it's even half of the, half of the faculty is not there. And that means, they need to teach more students and more practical. Now, students' strength is more. When we are studying, 100 is maximum, 106 was there, 100 was there. But today, we see a large number of students, but faculty is off of the faculty. So that means they need to spend more time on teaching. Then they may not have the time to run the research or consultancy or other things. That means students don't have experiment or explore more. That means students, the teacher may be teaching continuously the same thing without doing much research or must understand there is no scope for understanding more doing research there is no they won't develop the curiosity that's the problem actually so many universities make that today this one and again uh, there is a uh, faculty strength and also there is a teaching and research this one and infrastructure i will stop here much and another survey uh, source very shocking uh, today you see even Tamil Nadu it is uh, we see large number of private colleges and it was same in the Maharashtra there is a report by the Dr. Aras Paroda committee report says that, and there is only three private colleges in Maharashtra to meet 
expectation. That means 70 per 66 percentage of the colleges won't meet the requirement to teach the agriculture education, but they are still they are teaching the agriculture education. Maybe same with the case with the colleges which are coming up for coming out also. There are a large number of private colleges. Then whether uh, it is really teaching agriculture with the required with required competencies, required infrastructure, required faculty. It is a questionable. It makes the whole of our agriculture education become most un unattractive and it reduces the job market for not only for others, maybe others also it will bring down those who are uh, we proud of for TNA and TNA alma maters, one of the best education we will get. But once everybody gets the same degree, DSC agriculture, then it is the issue actually. And like uh, this is also another problem for agriculture students. And uh, and I will skip a few slides. I don't want to talk about more about problems and what the students can look for. And there are bright spots in the uh, education policy. There are uh, new national education policy. There are uh, interesting things. They want to professionalize the indigenous traditional knowledge. Then agriculture has the great scope. Today we are talking about organic farming or uh, natural farming. There is a great scope for uh, coming with the innovations from the farmers field. That's why people talk about co-innovation, co-creation, whether you can work with the farmers and you can come with the uh, innovations, even breeding department, breeding uh, some of your faculty or students, MSc may be there. Breeding long year before they talk about farmer participatory plant breeding. Today also it is quite good and there, there is a possibility for reviving those type of creating innovations and working with the farmers, co-creation, co-innovation. Today you see Padmasari Award ECPC, large number of farmers they will come. There are farmers, you can see, over the year, long years, this three decades, four decades, they will be working on the farm and they come with the new innovations. And agriculture students or MSc or PhD, those who are doing research or faculty, there is a lot of scope to create or co-innovate. There is opportunities coming. Apart from that, there is an integration of uh, PG research or MSc or UG, they are trying to integrate and those things are also possible. And uh, this way, you know, when uh, there are multiple entities and uh, multiple uh, specialization also possible. That may be somebody may be want uh, extension and agronomy may go with the well combination. Extension for agronomy to become an extensionist. They know subject also and also they know how to get to the farmers and how to make it. Like, you no, know, there are multiple, multidisciplinary, uh, you can have the degrees. There is uh, national education policies are coming with new opportunities. Maybe teacher students, they might be getting these type of opportunities. And again, uh, new education policy emphasizes for the innovation uh, centers for the students to come out with their own innovations and make the enterprise. I don't know how many of the students, PG students visited your own innovation center. I'm, I'm afraid actually. How many of you? How many of you visited? Can you raise your hands? You have one of the best innovation center award sponsored here. And uh, and so it is not necessarily you need to start the uh, agri enterprise, but at least you visit what is happening, what like that. Now those students not visited, still half of them are here and kindly visit that. So maybe the lot of embassies given for sixth deals committee also and also national education policy, maybe entrepreneurship development are uh, coming with the startups. Maybe a lot of opportunities are there. And uh, and again, multiple exit every opportunities may provide a lot of, uh, uh, lot of opportunities for the students. And again, online education. Over the years now, which is a uh, large number of online education may be much more helpful for students to come with new competencies. That's why when agriculture education, it is for the only faculty members and students also can think this one. When we talk about uh, uh, there is a limitations of agriculture education, what may be the better to uh, develop the human resources, what type of curriculum, what's supposed to be, and some of the suggestions given by ICR and other committees, mostly science-based subjects need to be emphasized when studying. It is a basic for many of the innovations, many of the things. Apart from the there is the students need to have the specialization and also there is a student size courses. Many times students are getting MSc agriculture extension or get extension, building means all of it. But we may not having the specialization, something expertise. For example, biotechnology students, somebody might be having markers. They work on markers and they don't know how to work and they know how to instrument instrumentation, how to make it all. Somebody economics working, how to run the some of the statistical packages for the, some of the programs, they might be knowing some. 
There, we need to develop the specialization. Students need to have the common degrees may not work. Having MSc, PhD in a particular subject, then you will, like, like you, many might be having. That's why you need to work on the specialization. And when we are working on specialization, there are other cutting, cutting edge technologies are coming. And those technologies, whether it's a blockchain technology or something, you know, digital twinning or something, you know, flows through ecological systems like there's some research globally, they are making it something like, any any waste material come from one organism, it may be useful for other. How we can make like that there are industry research globally happening. To meaning digital to meaning like that. Some instruments or something studying. Same digitally we can see. Digitally we can see how that uh, pollination works. Digitally we can see and also we can learn is it not like uh, some machinery you are studying. How the machine is working. Digitally it is working. Making the twin. One more digitally it will be working so that. Uh, those type of things are get, getting a lot of importance, digital twinning and also something like form management apps and uh, other things like uh, satellite imaging or uh, synthetic biology, maybe biotechnology students might be knowing better, uh, like uh, how we can make the some of the uh, products or something make for biologically work and you make it maximize the production, something like that. No, biotechnology next level, how we can go with the synthetic biology and also now we talk about drones for many of the agriculture operations. Whether your curriculum, depending upon the subject, here you see plant breeding to biotechnology or soil science or agriculture extension, many of them they can relate with at least any one of the technologies which are today they are talking like 5G, we talk, everybody using. Similarly, these many of the technologies we can connect with our own that subject. When you connect, then you get the better facilitation and also order advantage when you are uh, seeing other students, they come with generic degree. These type of technologies, how we can learn that is uh, that matters more. And again, information technology, whether uh, uh, today if you see many of things, whether it is uh, digital media, social media, or uh, used for the many of the programs or information technology related applications are every subject, every sphere of life it is coming. How good at your own uh, digital skills that makes difference actually. For example, I am agriculture extension, I can talk about agriculture extension myself. Students, somebody talking today, we have the job opportunities for digital managers, digital media, digital managers and uh, digital media managers, something like innovation managers, those who make innovation scaling up, something like that. There are job opportunities are coming based on the ICT, how we can use and uh, like uh, knowledge management specialists. Globally, people are asking many of the organizations, knowledge management specialists using the ICT tools, how we can process, how we can store, how we can disseminate the information to different stakeholders like the knowledge management, whether we are capable of doing it. Agriculture extension students need to think these type of specialists. Similarly, many of the other department also there are software for the many of the uh, economics analysis or uh, maybe IT connected other uh, biotechnology other programs no? that's why we need to see how we can connect with the information technology with our own programs our own subjects our own research that makes a lot of difference and again improving the research another important thing for the students and also faculty and it may be today now virtually we can collect globally some students doing MSc research Maybe we can connect with anywhere in the world, anywhere, anytime, anywhere we can connect with it. Like those type of research, how we can really connect with other researchers, those who are doing particular area, or connecting with them, working collaboratively, even universities, faculty, students, you know, these sort of opportunities for the do the research collaboratively in the partnership with others. And those type of research, how we can take it up next level, that may be matters actually. And maybe colleges or universities and uh, there is a director of students welfare departments, they may be having the something like you no know, career development events in the curriculum. Depending upon, for example, now new curriculum they are adopting for MSc and PhD in the most of the subjects, including the biggest extension. Every subject, it has, for example, we have the uh, global landscape. It talks about the agriculture extension globally, how it is the, to create the policy maker, something of policy analyst. We have the policy, there is a course on uh, policy for uh, MSc and PhD, PhD students, we have the policy engagement, there is a course, and innovation management, there is enabling innovation. Today, people are asking something like uh, innovators, uh, innovation facilities, something like that. 
like depending upon the course whether you can uh, have the career advancement it is not looking only for kdks or universities or uh, research development departments for example uh, UNDP, they are asking something like OT specialists. They want to reach to different stakeholders who can very well use the all ICT tools or uh, other general uh, methodologies to reach OT specialists, something like that. Already I was talking about knowledge management, social media managers, many of the organizations are like that. No? We need to develop the career development events, even the subject wise also there is a possibility. So the students go on, develop their own research, MSCPH research and trade seminar, they focus on somewhere so that they will get the specialization and they look for the job in the particular specialization. Because today, large number of multinational organizations, uh, well-known NGOs or many organizations, they are looking for this type of competencies. And uh, apart from that, it is, uh, uh, many times students those who are coming from UG or KG they are not market ready many times wherever they want to take they need to train again that's why students need to choose well in advance they need to think where they can get the job based on their own research their, based on their own subject and better to offer for the internships even faculties or university colleges and faculty or teams they should increase students go for the internships even though we have the Ravi program it was uh, regular and uh, three months they will go on field. But along with Ravi, if somebody they go for the very specialized internship so that they look for the job opportunities there, then it will be useful. For example, MSS students also, somebody doing breeding on the some important vegetable crop, then whether we can go for the agribusiness companies, those who are doing that uh, seed multiplication or seed business particular, their internship they can go. For example, we offer MBA program at manage. They look for the two internships we have sent, only summer and winter internships. Mostly, they wherever they are going, mostly they will, majority of them get the job in the particular company. They will go, they understand, they work well, and they come back when they are attending into the placement. Most of them, those who gone for internships, same agribusiness company, they will be getting the job. Similar possibilities are there for the agriculture students, those who are studying the agriculture colleges. That's why today it is. Anybody know where internships are available? Like that, any students, any website you are aware? Anybody quickly? Any one student? Which are in any newer subject or anywhere? Any website you are seeing? It is providing the internship quickly. Any students? Who is that? Name? Apart from Zahira, any others are aware?
and it is uh, some innovation even you simply need to go and talk with the farmers you can come with innovation when you are studying only you try and if you fail nobody asks the money actually for example we are running 29 centers including kannada agriculture university rkv rapta uh, agri entrepreneurship innovation component anybody aware of it rkv rapta agri entrepreneurship and innovation anybody aware Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Coimbatore also, there is a TBA, one of the incubation center working for the promoting agri-entrepreneurship. Here there is no eligibility, whether student or teacher or educated, uneducated, farmer or youth, rural youth, no? anybody can apply for it. It's just only ideas. Your idea is accepted and you will be given mentoring. Even many places now after COVID, there is virtual mentoring. After two months, again, they will select if your idea is good, they will start funding for you. Five lakh rupees, they will fund it. You can try with your innovation. If it clicks, who knows? You become one of the entrepreneurs you can take forward. Along with government jobs, also you can try. But uh, somebody has the curiosity or somebody has the interest in starting an enterprise or some innovation, you can try for it. There are a lot of opportunities in all the states, including Tamil Nadu also. There is a TN startup like that you can check in online. You know? There are a lot of opportunities. I think today or tomorrow, uh, here also there is some mela is happening and a large number of innovators and others are coming also. We are also in Madurai also. also. Everywhere it happens actually. They will put something like Ardigalam. You can go and play actually. Ardigalam, you know, is it not? Ardigalam. You go with your innovative idea, you can uh, you can play. Your imagination makes many things know. They write something. A large number of programs, every city, district headquarters, everywhere they are now. No, today is the first one, is the startups, and everybody you can try and uh, you can see for it. Maybe that will give very interesting idea. Even UG students and PG they can study. And again, I already told about uh, information technologies. Lot of distance learning course, online courses. Maybe uh, you might be knowing of uh, Coursera, edX, something like. Is it not Coursera? Or you can. Uh, it is not doing the, so many courses getting the certificates and you choose your specialization where you want to be what type of job you are looking then similar type of courses you can select very uh, you need to be very choosy and very appropriate courses you can select you can spend time so that you no know, you can have a specialization but some of them are there everywhere there they will run all the courses they enroll all exams so many certificates they will get but that may not be useful and when you choose for going for online exams or online courses you go with your own subject area, you can add the whatever you are studying, whatever you are doing research, you, know, you can add your own knowledge and competencies going online courses. Maybe online courses are another interesting thing to add your competencies. Similarly, it is uh, globally today, I already to told about this. It is not only looking for the very narrow uh, organizations, you need to look jobs in the UNDP. Always you here you are United Nations organization, is it that FPO over here? And you think of World Bank, you always is it not like that? No, there are CGR organizations like ICRISAT, you know, like many organizations are there. No, everywhere there are job opportunities. Maximum MSC, it is not PhD, everybody for compulsory actually, provided you are having the right competencies and the right uh, skills for a particular job, you can look for it. Normally, those who are MSC first year or even BSc students. They can look for those type of jobs and you can prepare yourself for the particular job. It will be coming. Another, for example, there is a gender specialist they will ask. Those who can work with women and uh, women roles and how they can promote in agriculture, like that. There is a gender specialist they are asking. Somebody work with the FPO, somebody can mobilize FPO and work with the FPO. Like uh, tomorrow, uh, there is a FPOs are coming and startups are there connecting large number of things happening. Today, everybody talks about farmer producer organizations. There are a lot of uh, human resources needed. Whether you, you are having the sufficient skills to support those type of organizations, how to mobilize, how to market like that, no? Those things you can see. And again, sustainable development goals when you talk about water or poverty or your agriculture. Most of the goals you see, it is more or less, most of the goals are most all it is relevant to agriculture. That's why you need to think bigger and broader, and for that you need to look for it. You may be doing very local, very your own district. You may be doing research on climate change. That's fine. Whether it's economics or climate uh, resilient variety, somebody doing breeding uh, from the breeding department or biotechnology is fine. But when you are doing how we can relate with globally, that makes difference. 
when you are talking about climate resilient variety or uh, technology or climate smart agricultural villages you are studying uh, climate smart uh, uh, extension methods somebody is like that no many things you can study but you can clearly relate with the global goals and how we can relate and how we can. you need to look you are doing locally but how you are having competence in the global level you need to read more you need to understand more and you can relate because already you are having experience in the world own you talk very competently very confidently about your own research at the same time you can know the globally same somebody working on climate resilient the beans they are working and this type of beans where is the kenya dana it is there how what is the issue what type of varieties and how it is in the food security like that you might be studying is it not how we can relate with your own and globally is it not then you are best fit for those type of jobs those who are working there if you see you know, many of the international organization might be working in the african continent they look for the some of the brightest people across the globe actually then you may be the best fit actually that's why you know you need to look you need to broaden your thing and the research you are doing you need to try to how we can relate with sustainable development goals so that we can work on because you know whatever you do agriculture it is relevant to large number of stakeholders in the society and many of the economics you do natural resource economics whatever impact assessment you know, it is globally applicable many of the subjects they will do it's a global subject that's why you need to relate with this type of uh, uh, global thinking and what they are talking you know that is uh, good for you and another important thing is we need to communicate better many time we communicate uh, we look for only journal articles and uh, uh, we have the understanding with our own friends you put in the three papers my name you put in the three papers my name then six papers you will be having like that no there is understanding i see especially in uh, many of the universities also in uh, tamil nadu agriculture university they don't work that right? way you need to have the specialization you need to start writing your own subject you need to based on your msc there are papers and we make the reviews and based on reviews and case study you can conduct no and when somebody you are collaborating with us really you need to contribute together and you need to do it but it is not only putting the names and doing it that's why you know writing is important along with writing understanding the issues and uh, how to write where to write today writing it is not only general articles today you know many of the uh, blogs the people write good communication whatever doing you know, quickly they communicate what you are doing and so that you, know, you can connect with the similar experts so that you can get a better understanding blogs they will put even twitter when you are something twitter or linkedin many of the professionals will be in linkedin how to communicate that matters is it that that's why you know you need to communicate or you connect with the people for that you need to have the better writing skills whether it is in tamil or english whether you know the bilingual or more than a few languages added advantage and somebody knows german friends you are going learning you know this more added advantage many of the organizations they will be for like you know you need to have the better writing skills how to write and what for you are writing whom you are writing that means not the Uh, writing thesis and same thing cut and paste we put and we will send for the journals those things it don't work you need to have the better writing skills and anyway i am not touching many of the students and uh, i am concentrating mostly on two students but teachers need to be given a lot of opportunities many times in tamil nadu agriculture university students teachers will come from the same university and same college uh, they will work in the same department many years and uh, they need to need to go out and need to export uh, exposer and uh, this so, you know the teachers competencies are more important and with the education technology something like uh, many of the uh, places they are offering the advanced course on education technology how they can use or uh, something like international seminars and uh, collaboration now with national higher education project they might be going but more and more teachers need to get and those who are Uh, really those who are inbred most of the teachers are from same university and there are many years are there uh, it is important for the students or uh, university to support the teachers to get the outside exposure more even long term uh, deputation to the many universities other things so then it will uh, improve the teachers competency that is more important it is not that we will be here and we know everything it may not be well there is so much changing and everywhere we can learn that is another important thing and uh, this in service training is continuously need to be there and for the faculty members and i will come to the point here many times the skills and competences skills something particular thing you are uh, able to do skills very particular thing but uh, 
all the other behavioral and experience are put together, how best it comes to particular job, you know, then it will come as a competency, like uh, uh, critical thinking, analytical ability, how networking, how you are partnership uh, making with different organizations like that. You know, skill is the one of knowledge, then there is a skill, you know, particular thing, how to do, you know. But when the job, you need to combine your knowledge, skill, and your experiences, like uh, other things like negotiating skills or something like uh, partnership, then it will come as a job competence. How best you are doing your job? It is not only doing the particular thing. Teacher may be good in uh, working on lab. Only thing you will do, and it, it is not. Like, you no know, agriculture students are expected to much more competency depending upon the organization, whether it's the private industry or going where you are going. You know, that's why competencies are more important. It is not the, you know, you know something, some skill or particular thing to do. That is not enough. That's what uh, my whole argument I'm trying to make it. You need to have the much more broader behavioral, behavioral uh, abilities you need to have. And uh, based on experience or based on, for example, communication skill, globally, this is one of the important skill. How you are improving? Everybody we think that we are communicating well. Why not is it that somebody communicating, uh, they will they influence and impress more and they will put the facts or whatever they want to articulate, they put it very rightly, is it not? That's why you know, we need to inspire and we need to try for always better communication, whether writing or speaking. That may be the one of the important job competency for the today globally people are looking. That's why you know you need to go for the better competencies and uh, it's knowledge and skills and competency. You need to develop on competency. Many times we have the knowledge about subject, but we may not have the particular skill to perform, skill to perform something. And uh, skill is not that the competence itself it may not be. Is it not? We may have, everybody has the knowledge. Once we complete the degree courses, we have the knowledge about particular course, but the skill and uh, competence may be questionable. Then any organization or private industry, anybody hiring, they need to retrain. That is the, but when you are studying only, well, there is a lot of possibility to develop your own skill and competencies. It is not taught by skill and competence, not necessarily taught by the teachers. Because you know, it is your own making, your own, you need to make it. And globally, globally there was a study, and when they are studying, the understanding is at least 50 percent of the people those who have got the job also they need to reskill it that means no it is a waste of resources but they got the job but 50 percent of them need to be retrained that's the problem actually that's why you know we need to develop the competency anyway and again if you today's trending you see no lot of things are it is declining something no human virtues or human character something like uh, uh, something of skill, manual skill, something to the skill or something, no, you need to be endurance, how we can withstand the difficult situation, those type of endurance and how precisely you do something, those type of, uh, it's, uh, it is not up to the, it is continuously declining over the years, it is the, the future jobs report of the World Economic Forum says, there is a memory, verbal and uh, listening skills and uh, other things also, it is coming down. Because continuously we listen more to mobile phones, and you see many times now our listening skills are it is continuously declining. We will be more addicted to mobile phones, memes, and other things. We'll go on videos, we'll be watching. Even I am talking continuously, two of them are laughing. We don't know why like that. Like no, because the listening skills are continuously coming down because they will be in their own world. These other things also you can see management and technology installation or reading, writing. And the reading, writing, important thing. I know many of you might be getting the WhatsApp and you know, history you'll see and you'll go sit now. Writing skills may be reducing. You may not be taking notes in the class actually. Then no, your writing skills go away because no technology enables, but uh, it is not for everything. When you are not writing and it's gone, WhatsApp only is put it and you see, and memory also is a fraction, it goes. So, you know, these type of important qualities which are supposed to be listening and seeing is more important. When talking also, you go on any road and many, I don't know, but here, many Hyderabad, I go, everybody talk alone, something they will keep, no phone also. Why? Earlier, no, when I am studying, no, only one or two people, they will talk uh, separately, you know, when I was studying 92, 96, those days also, one or two people, no, Tanya Pesit, everyone. But today, no, majority of them will talk. Those days, Paniya Pathesita, there is uh, something. Huh? 
they those who are recently fall in love now they full love now they will talk and they are all like they they amala thaniya sirpanga amala konte irpanga very one or two you know the things you know the people who is that like that. but today no seeing mobile and something here no continuously talking it is very difficult enna achana theriyadu this why no that you won't see the whole world outside what is happening not you are not sitting there panga but they won't listen because they are somewhere is it not like that no this things no depending upon no technology is advancing technology also you need to use for the better purpose it should be aid for you but it is not uh, supplement every your activities is it not today everybody might be talking about the chat gpt how many of you are aware chat gpt anybody tried yeah if you start thinking you don't need to think some audience are asking you our teacher is asking some report you will take about that report at home assignment you are putting yeah, then gone is it not then you are thinking also you don't want to think that means it's gone human creativity human thinking you know it's much more powerful than chat gpt is it not depending on the context place and you you think differently but that's why the technology may not replace everything it may be aid for you but that's why if you see you know this is a dangerous trend everywhere including the team students also there is a declining trend how we can go with the better writing skills better listening skills those things are more important how we are become stubborn how you are uh, endurance how difficult times also how you are putting your own self that makes lot of difference i feel and if you see the globally there is uh, global institute conducted uh, across the country 18000 respondents many of things if, if you see you know this is everybody can follow actually what are the important skills for the future job market if you see future world work what type of skills it is not subject matter alone you might be having ms phd but it is not much relevant because everybody has it that means what it depends from the somebody skilled or competent or somebody not then this type of skills something like critical thinking where you ask the why and what like the questions you need to ask critical thinking how best you can communicate how you can tell the better story whether you can narrate something whether you can influence something and uh, communication not only talking is it not it is also active listening how best you listen this one you know, this type of critical thinking communication and how we can plan and how we work that also it's the time management how we manage your own time that is another important and how much you are having the flexibility how much you are having the imagination and how we can adapt to the different situations typical or other situations these type of things everybody can do but how best you are able to do these things matters these are the competencies required for the future and again interpersonal how we can work with others how we can mobilize the different stakeholders it is not working alone how we can work with the team and team effectiveness how we make a team to work and how to train the team coaching the team and how we can empower each other just so you know these type of skills are looking for globally people are looking for these things you need to practice and you need to do it is not taught in the classes but you need to develop your own and these type of skills and apart from that there is a self leadership and also how we can uh, uh, looking for achieve your own goals and also digital digital makes lot of difference whether it's a digital literacy or it is a digital learning or digital collaboration how we can make the msc or psc student at least you should know the some faculties globally not only here because digital collaboration you can make the students or uh, postdoc fellows or teachers across the globe they might be doing how we can have the digital collaboration so that we can enhance our own competencies or research, research abilities those type of uh, digital makes lot of uh, difference and the globally they seen this type of research and uh, many of the places uh, digital category and also again uh, communication planning way of doing was lacking these are very easy to do is done become digitally how we can use for our own subject our own purpose specialization that is possible digital tools and communicating and ways of doing and planning these are lacking across the globe and similarly uh, and uh, again agricultural university of there is a education and they are working on it uh, two things when uh, two things negative correlation they have something like the humility when we are having phd we think that everything we know like that there is no modesty that is the issue actually 
that is negatively correlated with the your own uh, work efficiency for the workplace. How we can modest with all things, how continuously you need to learn and you need to have the modest and, and again, you need to have the inspiring trust. That also negatively, how you can inspire, get the trust. And uh, when we talk about agriculture competencies, and uh, there is a basic attitudes and methodological competence and organizational competence and content competence and how we can reflect and learn. These are more important. I stop here. I will take a few questions, then I will go for it. Otherwise, I am continuously talking. Now, curriculum it evolves, you know, over the years it will change. But every five years, six years, they are changing. But my point is today, everything, most of things are online available, and many times students need to move forward. That's what my point actually. They need to develop their own competencies. Whatever study as a knowledge, MSc or PhD, it is not enough. That's what uh, I am trying to tell actually. It is not necessarily from the curriculum because they need to move beyond curriculum. That's what I'm telling. They need to have the better specialization, better skills, and better competencies they need to develop. Somebody having good writing skills, they need to go and develop on writing skills. Somebody having better partnership negotiation skills, how to maximize those things. It is many of the abilities are learned. It is not inborn many of the time. And it is many when we are studying first year uh, agriculture joining, many we don't know talk uh, English and we can't write also many times when the teachers are told. It is uh, basic to many of them, those who are studying from Tamil medium like me. It was very tough. But many of the language communication, we learn the things. So the capabilities we learn and we put the efforts and time actually. It makes a difference. That's why it is not talking about only curriculum or faculty or institute. But the students need to have a clear idea about what they want to be and they need to explore more opportunities. And they, when they explore more opportunities, they need to develop their own competencies. That's what my uh, argument, for point, matter. It is not necessarily need to come from the every time curriculum revision and adding uh, curriculum and putting circulars, it may not change unless students are not willing to change. Sit down. Listening is they need to listen. So today, some of the students may not be, even though they know they come, many teachers are trying, but they may not come. They play choice. They don't want to come. They don't want to listen. When I'm talking also, somebody may not be listening because already they decided what, what they are looking for. What. That means the choice of developing their own competency with the students, not with the faculty or not with the curriculum, not with the ICA, because this is our own self-made, is it not? Sometimes, no, you, you can't change your, I can't change my own thinking like that, many they will sit, then you can't change, is it not? These are innovations, some parents are not, but a party was the part of another, I love my Kaiser tooling. Somebody claim they will think differently, we will uh, put clubs, but we don't, we don't want to. That's the problem. Why we are not thinking differently? Because you don't want to think, no, we think of like others and we go with them and uh, we'll put the this one. That's the problem. You won't put the efforts for thinking. That makes the difference. This part. That's why, you know, when we are talking about competency for agriculture students, then we need to look for the, they need to think about the complete system. Today, there are many people like the governments, policy makers, administrators, research and extension systems. And there are entrepreneurs, and there are middlemen, exporters, importers. And when you talk about agriculture, it's the big one. Any subject you talk, there is a bigger people are there. Many are working on it. That's why, you know, always today, it's the systems we need to think. It is, we are not thinking separately. For example, somebody working on extension and uh, some research, they need to think about complete holistically with the policy makers to the farmers. And what are the other research systems, NGOs are there? Private organizations are there, all how working and what, like that. No, there is a system thinking. People need to think. That's why, you know, today, uh, globally, you know, food systems research they are calling food systems research. Is it not? Food, agri food systems. It is not the agriculture food security or agriculture or veterinary they want it. It's, uh, it is uh, something like uh, agri food systems. Globally, you know, something broader terminology trying and trying to integrate all the actors or systems, those who are together, whether it's a research or extension or policy making or entrepreneurship, somebody doing or exporting or national policies, international policies, uh, and farmers, what they are looking like, you know, 
how we can make it system thinking that makes whatever you do, this is what I told, small area you do research, but try to link with the global agenda, like sustainable development goals, and also other stakeholders, what they are thinking, what they are doing, how we can connect your own research. For example, climate change, when you are talking, there is a national policy on climate change, there are projects are working, and government looking for something, natural farming, when you are talking, you know, government to farmers and NGOs and many, and even market middlemen, organic stores and natural farm related products like that. You know, there are many people work on natural farm, is it that? So we can connect what they are doing like that. You need to think as a system. And also we need to have the subject specific knowledge, something very specific to work. It is not generic having, no. It's you need to have the specialization. And how we can make the network based on your own subject competency, how we can make the network among across different stakeholders, those who are those who can partner with you. And again, you know, how we can integrate the knowledge, whether whatever you are learning and practically what is what is happening, how we can integrate with your theoretical and practical knowledge. And it is again learning is a lifelong something. When you do MSc or PhD, it won't end there. Continuously, you need to update yourself because when you want to call as a specialist and expert and you want to get a job, then you need to go on work on it. That means it is your learning never stops, your skill and competency. Continuously, you need to upgrade depending upon your own subject. It is always it is. That's why, you know, these things, when you need to have the sustainable transition, then you need to have the better competencies and you can look for the better opportunities. And we need new competencies, generally, you know, because generally you look for the same place. If there is no growth, when you want to have the growth and better opportunities, you need to have, and you need, want to be relevant and you want to be valuable, you need to have your own competencies and uh, to look for the future better, or uh, you need to have the, whatever changes are coming for preparing the one, or uh, you get the sense of achievement when you are looking forward and going. These competencies are important and you want to feel yourself better and yourself become better to get a better job or uh, make the whole get a better place, better place and relevant variable no, for that you need it. And uh, that's why you know this agriculture competencies, it is not only many times you no, know, we look for the only government sectors. Today, large number of uh, private sector and civil society organizations are development of partners, not only civil society organizations today. Entrepreneurs agree startups like that. No, even individuals become the developmental partners. That's why days are done. 60s, 70s, we talk only government monopoly of government in the development. But today there are a large number of players, private, private corporate industries, uh, private players, and NGOs and civil society organizations like farmers group and uh, self-help group. Like you know, many are coming. Individual entrepreneurs are there making a lot of different. They are supporting. That means even when they are thinking about agriculture, need to change. It is not revolves around only government and government schemes or your employment in the government organizations. But it is much more broader canvas. How you look those things that makes for the your difference. And uh, that's why you need to have the specialized subject, a new competency and expertise. And another interesting thing, when we talk, it is not a subject matter. Globally also they tried well the economic for this the research. They told active learning and resilience. When there is a difficult time, how you are uh, resilience, you might be studying climate resilient crops, whatever adverse climate, the crop will withstand and come in. Is it not? similarly how you are withstanding the difficult situation in your job and day to day? The resilience and uh, how we can tolerate the stress and how much you are having flexibility to adapt to your own job conditions. It is more important. It is not the subject matter or knowledge alone. That means these are the capabilities you can make your own. It is not something you need to learn things, but you need to make yourself become capable of having these type of competencies. It is possible when you consciously make it efforts and there is a possibility. And again, when we talk about 21st century, like the skills you talk, all common skills, whether it is the learning skills or life skills or literary skills, Generally, they are talking about three things, whether critical, critical thinking or communication and collaboration and creativity. And uh, again, life skills, how you are flexible, how you are initiating something, or how social skills, how you are going along with others, and what type of productivity, what type of leadership skills, how you are influencing others or taking the team ahead, those type of leadership skills. And again, media, technology, and uh, information skills. How much you are aware about something, information literacy, 
and media, how we can use the media, digital media, and what type of technology you are competent. These are prepared for the 21st century, not subject alone. I will stop here, and any questions means I will take it up. Sir, is it possible to include all these things in the new education uh, policies of government of India? No, it is not necessary. We need to include the curriculum. These are like skills, no? They need to have flexibility. From home itself, it's supposed to come. Like, no, having the flexibility and with the home and with the siblings, these all need to come. And again, uh, you no, know, leadership quality students need to go proactive. For example, somebody, a science and students are there. If Madam is told, uh, Madam Dr. Saria, or Madam told, then somebody should have taken, Madam told to come like that. No, somebody automatically they can take a lead and dream. It is not taught in the class, actually. Many of the skills, whether digital media skills or it is life, life skills, no, it is uh, capabilities need to learn. It is not taught today. You know, many coaching classes, many, many, uh, many of the motivation classes are happening. But no, student need to have the conscious effort to understand and to learn. If you want to be flexible, then only you can be flexible. Unless you don't want to listen, you don't want to learn something, you can't make it. But no, if you want to make it. A lot of tutorials, whether it's online, offline, you know, many people are there today. Everybody, you know, try to give life skills, but uh, it is not necessarily we can learn from our own students and those who are somebody, you know, more flexible, somebody always the leadership they will take, and somebody having the better communication skills, digital media. We can learn from our own teachers, and uh, but no, because uh, we won't look for the good things around us, that's the problem. We can look for our own uh, students that may be the similar skills. All may not, all, all skills, everybody no need to process actually. Some of them naturally will come. They can maximize those type of skills wherever they are weak and those things we can make it. That's why, you know, this is, uh, it is not taught in the classrooms. It is, uh, they need to learn and they need to have the conscious effort they need to make. That may be the interesting for them actually. Because subjects you can teach, knowledge you can teach, technology you can teach, but not the, other skills, digital media, what it is, how to use, everybody knows now. WhatsApp and uh, LinkedIn and Twitter, how to use, many they know. But how they use for productivity, that depends on the student's choice, actually. Those who are learner choice, whether they are making it and that makes difference. Collaboration, anybody can LinkedIn, they can find out the similar research interest, those who are faculties, they can have the connect with them. But they want to connect and want to learn, they want to refer some articles, that depends on the student, it is not... Uh, is it much? Okay, I'll stop here and any questions means I'll take it up. How, sir, how can we reduce the something like uh, negative thinking? For example, students are uh, part of the industry itself. I'm a Padichena on a forum. Being a Mario Vilkana, how we can motivate them? Because from the government side, we are getting some sort of responses. From the industry side, we are getting second responses. So, in between the transparencies, uh, we are uh, lacking some that. Talk to students on how we can motivate. But what you told that is correct. During uh, our students' life, the same uh, civil service was the top most part. Second people, they got purple exam and they got admission in foreign universities. And second people, they got some other thing, something like that. But even then, today also the same thing. But the thing is that awareness, education level, everything has went on a yeah, bursting level. But the employability opportunity, something like known employability is very less. So due to that, people may ask this type of thing. How we can motivate the students? Yes, sir. Motivating normally, we can uh, motivate in different ways. The like, um, teacher itself is a motivator, basically. Once no teacher, uh, teacher teaches well and teachers inspires, no students will be many of the motivator. First, the motivation comes from teachers, basically. Second, motivation may be they are seeing others, those who are successful, like them, they are motivated. And uh, again, they need to inculcate. They are joining with the other students, those who are talking about positive, they need to be there. Everywhere there are people, they will pull down and uh, somebody they talk about only negative things. Then those type of uh, groups, people are roaming, automatically they will come negative. It's a common thing. But 
students themselves need to know the RJ. Only others need to motivate. Already you are one of the best colleges. Many city agricultural private colleges compared to them, you will be well fortunate to be here because you have one of the best facilities, one of the oldest college here. That itself need to motivate us. Seeing the Chittangalam Tenga walking evening and uh, uh, infrastructures and the near Madurai or the temple city like that, no, these are motivating. If motivating means it is not only subject motivates, but the way you think that motivates, always you need to think positive things, then it will motivate us. Uh, it is not uh, every time, no, it's always motivation comes, somebody talks, no, oh, today there's somebody told, good, and we need to be like that, and it will go down. Unless otherwise self motivated, it never works. And first of all, you need to believe yourself. Only then, Danusananga, Namboa, and you know, Paka Paka Tapitana, we will. Paka Paka Danus Pritikya Vaat is super abhinu, like somebody no film will believe those things dialogue, but our life we won't believe it. Our life also like that, we all are everybody hero, hero in all, is it not? You need to celebrate your life tomorrow, no? You need to tell a story to your own uh, children. You need to tell the story to children, not in the big auditorium or somebody get the big auditorium, internationally also they may get that. But no, you need to think, one day you need to tell your story. The story or life story should be very, very what you call it is uh, wonderful, it is romantic, and also it is uh, something you no know, very colorful, and also it is something you no know, you achieved. It is not everybody need to achieve same. Depending upon your uh, abilities, depending upon your background, or uh, depending upon your own in somewhere you no, know, we have our own inabilities. Is it not? We can't deny that. We try all level, our level, but mathematics it won't come to me means I can't make it. That's okay. But somewhere I may be good, you need to have. That's why you, know, you need to self appreciate whatever you have the good thing. Everybody having good things. First of all, no, sitting in Madurai itself is a great thing. Temple City, one of the best places you are sitting. And uh, the college, one of the oldest college. And the Kakan Kalayara, when you see, you know, it's not it's a memorable thing. Is it that you make more memories you know, tomorrow, no? wherever you walk, you know, all the time, mobiles, if you are there, your life ends with mobile. But now, even in 7 o'clock, I reach there. But I am unhappy seeing the campus when uh, when we were studying. Now it's a very vibrant. Teachers will be playing. Teachers, students, they used to play their badminton or whatever. No, and basketball grounds, so light will be there. Sorry, on Adam, all many they used to hostels they used to come and uh, they play. Students they play in uh, flat lights actually, and the students will be watching cycles. Some groups are watching. No, that's what no some saw something told. Eh? How you make motivate? First of all, teachers and students need to be together, friendly. And students need to be, there is uh, one story, you know, in Makabharata, uh, Purnacharya son, you know, Aswatthama, no? he asks, why all the time you are uh, telling uh, Arjuna is good, Arjuna is good student, and also you are teaching all uh, good things like that, he will ask. And uh, all these uh, Gauravas also, they think he is uh, partial to somebody. You also know sometimes we are also agriculture colleges with both the teacher and the Payuboy Padamodama in the full Padamodu, full Mark Putra, and like that. No, sometimes we used to tell, is it not? But no, but uh, uh, Dronacharya want to prove that uh, very next day, you know, he was in somewhere in uh, Sumal Tang, like Sitamanam, there is a tank. Uh, he will go and there is a crocodile comes. Crocodile comes and he tries to uh, try to catch the Dronacharya. All, all, big, all the people know they try this one, that one, and the Duryodhana takes this one, and so on. All will be, you know, everybody, you know, tense and doing it. But uh, Aswatthama also, son, but he also, what to do, father, like that, he was crying. Papa, Papa, like that, he is putting it. But Arjuna, he goes there, and uh, crocodile is there. He knows he will going to kill his uh, guru. He goes there, and he will fight with the crocodile, small boy, compared to all others. He fights, that means, you no. Know, then the Dronacharya tells, it is the Samarpanam, something, you know, dedication for the teacher. He goes and he believes, my teacher needs to be there. And teacher anyway saves me, like that, he tries to save the teacher. What is the understanding? He believes the teacher, teacher is in danger. But still he believes the teacher and he goes and he fights with the crocodile. That's it, now that means, then Dronacharya tells, he need to, need to dedicate to the teacher, Guru actually. Many times, you know, each Guru, the way they teach is different. First of all, no? You need to believe in the teachers and you need to dedicate the teachers. Teacher means everybody in the life. Maybe today, maybe some of you, I may be the teacher. You need to believe what I told you. You need to believe, I said. Then, no, it is uh, dedication. 
and for that what efforts you put that makes that is i think it is a coming down because speaking everybody seeing the whatsapp or this one digital you know better than even many teachers or something like that no that makes difference actually there is a relationship with the teacher and students so that is maybe the one of the greatest motivation factor actually that's why you know we need to be motivated by teachers and students need to have the self motivation actually self dedication self motivation self commitment this all over the years nothing new actually how much you are committed for your own subject how sincerely you need that makes the difference actually otherwise so many lectures and so many things no it may not others can motivate unless otherwise you are not self motivated is it that there are thousand reason to be self motivated anyway thank you very much and uh, I... sir this is not a question actually just i want to share recently i met one person in town i said i was astonished by his like because he, i asked uh, what is your name or what
to be the one of the best subject today. If you see large number of great startups come from food technology and so good. Any others? How many of you here? The civil servants are there. Somebody is there studying for uh, exam. Somebody. No problem. I like the civil servants. That's why I'm asking. Anybody? Anybody scientist are there? No. That's what. No. First of all, no. Try to decide. No. Try to be courageous. Whatever you think, no. It is no matter where you make it. Before at least MSc when studying, you need to decide it actually what you want to do. And you. That's what. No. First, you need to have the clarity on what you are studying. And at least, no. You can have the clarity. No. Then you can look for it because every post and every you aspire for something. No. It requires different type of preparation actually. That's why you can uh, first only you can put it. Anyway, later on also somebody can reach me. I will uh, leave my cards. Anybody interested? Yeah. Any questions? Few more questions. I will take it up. Or... So I congratulate our uh, guest speaker for having offered a uh, very nice, uh, scintillating, and thought-provoking talk. So really, you have justified your topic. So you have covered almost all the aspects of your topic, and you have covered how to. Improve competency by students and also by uh, staff members. So really, your lecture is useful not only to our staff but also for our uh, student friends. So uh, on behalf of Yes and I, Madhuri, I wholeheartedly thank you for coming over here and offer this uh, best lecture. So let us all give a big round. We now request Dr. Rao Veni Swami, respected professor and head of the Department of Agricultural Extension Rural Sociology, uh, to deliver the vote of thanks. Respected Dean SPGs, respected Dean SNDR Madurai, and the professors and students, both in online and offline, good evening to all. Uh, on behalf of SNDR Madurai and Department of Agricultural Extension and Rural Sociology, I wholeheartedly express my sincere thanks to our Honorable Vice Chancellor for sanctioning this end of lecture to our college. Then I express my sincere thanks to Dr. N. Senthil, Dean SPGS, for uh, supporting uh, this end of lecture and also for delivering the welcome address. And uh, express my sincere thanks to our respected Dean, S. N. Dara Madhuri, for his hold, for his support and uh, motivation. Uh, because of this only, we have conducted this program successfully. Then I express my sincere thanks to Dr. Saravan Raj, Director of Agriculture Extension, he, for your wonderful lecture. And also, it will be very useful for our students and for staff members. In spite of his busy schedule, he has accepted. And uh, actually, he is on leave because of his uh, lot of official commitments. Yes, on leave and yes, deliver the lecture. Thank you, Dr. Sarandra. And uh, I express my sincere thanks to all the staff members, both in online and offline, for your participation. And, and I express my sincere thanks to students who have participated in both in online and offline. And uh, I express my sincere thanks to uh, our department, Dr. L. Dr. And Nirmala, Associate Professor, Dr. Suresh, Associate Professor, and other students, speech and speech students, for their support for conducting this program successfully. Then I express my sincere thanks to the uh, Department of Agriculture and Engineering for their all arrangements and other supports. Thank you, one and, one, one and all.